This morning, Prince Harry arriving for a second day of court over a lawsuit brought against the publisher of the Daily Mail, Associated Newspapers. The Duke of Sussex, Elton John, and several other big-name celebrities accusing Associated Newspapers of violating their privacy. In court documents seen by the Press Association, Prince Harry's lawyers say he felt suspicion and paranoia after seeing some stories. Convinced those closest to him were leaking private details to the press, causing friends to be lost or cut off, and everyone becoming a suspect. Prince Harry and the other claimants accused the news group of using a private investigator to spy on them. An Associated Newspaper spokesperson releasing a statement saying a private investigator whose confessions form a key element of a privacy case being brought against Associated Newspapers has denied their allegations that he acted illegally against them on behalf of the Daily Mail or Mail on Sunday and that he has provided a signed witness statement denying that he was commissioned or instructed by Associated to carry out any unlawful activity adding the Associated Newspapers vigorously denies all the claims against it. Prince Harry's turbulent history with the media dates back to the death of his mother, Princess Diana. He's long blamed overly aggressive paparazzi for chasing Diana and causing the car crash that killed her. In the aftermath, the tabloids agreed to let Diana's grieving young sons grow up in private, away from the cameras. Harry's lawyer filing on his behalf in court said the claimant regards Associated's unlawful acts to amount to a major betrayal given promises made by the media to improve its conduct following the tragic and untimely death of his mother, Princess Diana, in 1997. In his explosive Netflix documentary, Harry said, I feel as though being part of this family, it is my duty to uncover this exploitation and bribery that happens within our media. Fellow claimant Elton John alleging his child's birth certificate was published in the Daily Mail before he and his partner had seen it themselves. And British actress Elizabeth Hurley claims her phone was tapped and that her ex-boyfriend Hugh Grant's car was bugged. Expecting court today, Kelly. So really, this is Associated Newspapers' chance to argue to the judge that this case should be thrown out. They deny all the allegations, some of which date back to the 1990s. Part of their argument is that these allegations are so old, they really shouldn't be brought forward now. It's a four-day hearing, so we're expecting all of this to wrap up by Thursday, at which point the judge will decide whether or not this lawsuit can go to trial. Hoda Willie. Kelly, is there any indication while Harry's there he might drop in to see his father ahead of the coronation or his brother, perhaps? Uh, not likely in, in either case, Willie, and that's because Buckingham Palace says that King Charles is not in London or Windsor. Kensington Palace says Prince William is out of, uh, out of town as well. And really, Prince Harry is, has sort of made it clear just by his presence here that this, he wants the focus to be on this case, on what he calls his life's work, to change the media landscape, to put a focus on what he says, the effect he says uh, the tabloids have had on his life. One royal correspondent here in London said, put it this way, he said that uh, Prince Harry is actually positioning himself as the poster boy for privacy cases. This is one of three privacy cases he's brought against the tabloids. Guys. All right. Kelly Cobia for us there in London. Thanks, Kelly, Kelly, thank you. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.